Greetings and salutations, fellow viewers. This is a session of now ending for the Xbox 360 exclusive FPS Halo 4, where we show you the final bits of the game. I'm Jonathan Toya, joined in by Randolph Ramsey. G'day, Jonathan. Hey, what's up? Hey, so yeah, this video is rifled with a heck of a ton of spoilers, so if you either haven't finished the campaign mode, or if you accidentally clicked on this video, Leave now, unless you want to actually see the ending for yourself. Yeah, because as the name implies, yes. this is the ending yes. of Halo 4. Yeah, so spoilers, <laughs> everything, yeah, shut it off now if you don't want to have your experience ruined. And don't say we didn't warn you. Yes, before, because okay. we just... The ending of Halo. Yes, Halo, Halo 4. Okay, yes. so Jonathan, you're the one who actually played through this, yeah? Yep, yep, so the campaign has been pretty fun so far, I got to control like that Mantis robot, mm. um, I think there are two segments, yeah, two segments. Yep. There's just the usual like open-ended, open-world kind of combat thing going on. Yep. And the new weapons, are, they're pretty cool and all that. And yeah. how long did it take you to actually get to this point here? Uh, I think it's about seven hours-ish. Okay, that's yeah. not bad. And the best part is you can actually activate your skulls pretty early rather than just finding them in Halo 3. Okay. So you can just activate, like, make the game a little tougher for yourself, or okay. maybe even comical. All right. For this, I actually put on the grunts birthday party thing, so if you headshot a grunt, a little uh, fireworks and thing just pops out from there. How do we get over there? Can barely. End of the ramp. If we time it right, our momentum, momentum should carry us through the low gravity. Chief, Chief. once that warhead is primed, the window for getting out of here is going to be pretty slim. I've got to do something you're not going to like. Okay, so Jonathan, let's just set the scene here. What was that all about? What did we, what did we just see? Oh, that was what basically uh, Cortana. She actually has this like uh, going through a rampancy. Where whenever an AI goes through a rampancy, they actually just decay and they have to be shut down. Mm -hmm. She actually lasts a little longer than most AIs. I think. Most of them shut down at seven after seven years, and she's been around for eight. So. Yeah, so now that's basically one of the core points of the story where she has Master Chief is trying her best to save her, trying to get back to Earth as soon as possible. So, so as I said, we're not going to try and talk too much, but we just want to set this up. So where, where are we now? Oh, we are actually in the what's at the Didax uh, ship. Um, it's actually like a giant orange golf ball which actually looks cooler than it sounds like it described <laughs> yes. and we're actually trying our best to actually stop him from you know basically using this uh, one super weapon using the forerunner artifact called the composer to basically wipe out humanity okay. so he just has this thing against humanity just okay. to keep things short so right now big fight yep and then the ending right um let's just say the fight actually happens around where i'm at okay all right uh, well let's let's just um let the, let the action speak for itself. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm doing here is basically like I just got all these uh, weapons out. Like uh, basically the most weapons you use are brought from the Promethean side. Like um, you've got the light rifle that basically acts like a little uh, mini, like a battle rifle for the humans, and the assault rifle version for the Prometheans are the it's called the skeleton, well, not the skeleton, uh, the suppressor, the suppressor. That's it. So it acts just as much as an assault rifle, right? but with better up close and everything. And um, yeah, that's about it. Like basically just trying to get through certain switches, just press a bunch of buttons here and there to shut down the shield where the Didac is held at, so that we can actually get to him and put in the nuke to actually destroy the entire ship okay. that he's in. 
Alright. The ship, like I said, the ship, giant golf ball, but not to be messed around with. Okay. Right. And that weapon I'm using right now is the binary rifle. It just basically acts as a really kick-ass sniper rifle. Even better than the actual sniper rifle that Halo fans are used to. It just kills with one hit, de 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 depending on, regardless of where it hits, except for the Prometheus, of course. It's special. Okay. So in multiplayer, it's a pretty badass weapon. So obviously you're, you're, you're dealing with, I guess, some sort of high-level Prometheans now, right? Tell uh, me a bit more about that. Let's see, they're like the knights, which actually go up close and can teleport up to you like a ninja and just slash you to death. Nasty, yeah. But the worst enemies so far are the ones that look like the AR parrot drones. They're okay. called the Watchers. Yeah. They can not only resurrect dead Prometheans, mm. but they can also like reflect grenades in your face. And also... Yeah, the doggies as well, you should be careful of them because they can climb on the walls. One of them acts like a jackal where it can be snipe you from far. And um, yeah, and they can actually flank you really fast and they come in big swarms. Those guys you gotta watch out for. But the plus side is once you kill a bunch of them, you get a lot of suppressor ammo, which is pretty good for like, again, like if you know how to use an assault rifle, the most basic weapon in the game, you can use the suppressor just fine. And I think somewhere later on, I actually end up picking up this gun called the Incinerator Rifle. It's like the BFG of the Prometheans. Just shoots at one area, a cluster of fire just comes up and wipes out anything in front of, in the area, including Master Chief. So, let's just watch out for friendly fire, let's just say that. You persist too long after your own defeat. Come then, warrior. Have your resolution. Humanity's imprisonment is a kindness. In that case, you won't mind if you return the favor. Your compassion for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind.
Cortana. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. How? Oh, I'm the strangest thing you've seen all day? But if we're here... It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. So how do we get out of here? I'm not coming with you this time. What? Most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John. I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Wait. Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kind of odd for you to call me sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. 
Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but I still think of her as home. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. And I've lost people I care about, but... Never anything like you're going through. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. About being a machine. So, that was the ending, Jonathan. Yes, that was... Was, was... was it emotionally affecting for you? Yeah, it was. I mean, for fans, it definitely will be. Yeah. Because it's like a signaling the change of a new guard. Yeah. As you can tell from that message from 343, it's like... Of course, some people who are kind of cynical, they'll think of it as, like, Oh, we're just going to make more money off you and make more Halo yeah. Master Chief stories. But it's a good start from 343. Yeah. Uh, my only gripe is from the campaign side, um, it just feels like... They should just show off more Prometheans and more mm. fights from there because like the ending's fine, that makes sense. But like in the middle there, there were, because the was it the Covenant were teaming up with the Didact mm. and you actually fight more there are actually more Covenant battles than I needed. Yeah. We've already had like four or five games for that already, so let the new one just be focused on the Prometheans, I figured. That's just my take. But but, but, but bottom line, better better ending than Halo 2 in your mind? Oh, of course, <laughs> that goes without saying. Yes, okay. yes, much better. Yeah. Like, everything's all closed up, you know, it's wrapped up. But at the same time, we get to see... There's, a, you know, like a yeah. new hope ending, you know, like there's, a, yeah. there's more things happening down the horizon. Yeah. I like to see how they deal with the other Spartan lady, like maybe hmm. uh, Master Chief and her might team up later on in the future for further adventures. Yeah. Might be cool, might be cool. Very exciting. So that was the ending of Halo 4. Yes, yes. Uh, in case you've already reached this far, yeah, you've been spoiled. Been spoiled. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, of course, uh, there's the credits going on, but wait till the... Uh, everything of the credits finish or just press Y to skip it so you can see the epilogue. Okay, so there's more to come. Yeah, more to come. All more right. like this sets the tone for what's going to happen soon, but at the same time, it's it, it's finite. It's like, you know, closed up. Okay, all right. And that's coming up any second now, right? Uh, soon, soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, again, thanks for again, uh, fellow viewers, for watching this segment. Do This is Randy and Jonathan signing off. Uh, check out our Now Playing featuring MLG's T-Squared to learn how to kick Spartan butt in multiplayer and look forward to more GameSpot coverage on Halo 4. And also do leave your thoughts on the ending on the comments box below.
In this hour of victory, we taste only defeat. I ask why. We are foreigners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms, and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to recede. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness, while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to forerunners alone. Think of my acts as you will, but do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun, and we are hopeless to stop it.